Skadoosh. Sup, y'all. It's your favorite girl who's trapped in a dungeon, Avery. A to the V to the E to the R to the Why did this happen to me? I love rap. I've been down here for 24 days, and even though I've got a lot of problems, I'm not gonna let you guys down. So I know you've been wondering how I keep such a fresh face even though I'm being held against my will. First of all, the lack of sunlight, even though it's so bad psychologically, is doing wonders for my pores. <laughs> also, I haven't laughed in a long time. So I'm obsessed with makeup tutorials and that's what I'm doing today. And I know what you're thinking. How does a girl trapped in a dungeon a beat her face? Well, it's all about using what you got. For instance, I have these great cheekbones. I also have access to a lot of dead rats. Remember Poncho? Lately, I'm like totally obsessed with Poncho's carcass. He's been dead for like three weeks and I'm still wearing his tail as a choker. And lately, I've been using his blood for rouge. I know it sounds disgusting, but who could argue with these results? I'm ready for the Teen Choice Award. And this team chooses to kill her captor, Jonathan. <laughs> I'm so weird. What goes better with rosy cheeks than cement colored eyeshadow? You can find concrete from any sidewalk, fortified basement, or Sephora. Use any tool you have to scrape off some cement. Now, I know a lot of girls who have lost a lot of fingernails scraping the walls in here, so I don't recommend that. Save those nails to claw Jonathan's face. Personally, I use this spoon I found. Like, it doesn't look great, but it's makeup. Finally, don't forget about those luscious lips. Here's a trick Kylie won't tell you. Bite them until they feel numb. It's the closest thing to feeling high in here. That's right, I'm 420 friendly. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Anyways, that's how you look fierce, even in a dungeon. Ugh, that means Jonathan's on his way down. I'm gonna try and claw his eyes out and escape. Subscribe to see how it goes. Oh, and call the cops with any tips of my whereabouts. He has a Sylvester and Tweety Bird tattoo on his chest. Love ya, bye.